Hi, I'm Laura Cicerelli and I'm a second year master's student in the Faculty of Kinesiology. Hi, my name is Derek McLennan. I'm a second year master's student in the Faculty of Kinesiology and I'm specializing in biomechanics. Hi, my name is Nyusha. I'm a second year PhD student in the Program of Applied Health Sciences at University of Manitoba. Uh, I did a Bachelor of Kinesiology um, with a specialization in athletic therapy. I uh, graduated in 2016. Um, certified as an athletic therapist in 2016 as well um, and then for the past couple of years now I've been working as the athletic therapist with the Winnipeg Gold Ice Baseball Club here in Winnipeg. We've had a really good group of guys so we've been able to capture the championship for the past two years so that's really been fun. So I decided on the U of M more because of the size of it and the amount of different programs they offered and the amount of research and stuff they're doing within the community. When I first came into university right out of high school I didn't really know what I wanted to do so it gave me options in terms of different paths I could take. I still had the opportunities to do stuff professionally with my athletic therapy degree while doing my master's, so it worked out pretty well that way. And then in the future, I just think it helps me out in terms of looking for jobs and stuff. It opens up a whole new area um, that I can look at. My research is looking at concussions in youth ice hockey players, and I'm taking balance measures, and I'm trying to see if um, there's a way that we can improve diagnosis in the future using those measures. The hands-on stuff's pretty fun, especially using some of the equipment that we have access to in the biomechanics lab here. It's stuff that's new to the university with the force plates and the Vicon system. So having access to these systems is pretty crazy considering that there's only, I think, two of them in Winnipeg right now. And having access and connections within the community, for example, the Pan Am Clinic Foundation, having access to their facilities down there and having a research um, center set up at majority of the major hospitals is really helping out with the amount of research that the University of Manitoba can do. So basically my research is about helping people with disabilities, basically neurophysiologic disabilities like a stroke or spinal cord injury, to better function. For a while when I was a student, I was doing my first master's. Uh, I was working in a clinic. So I was working actually with patients and I was making them orthotic devices. I knew that there should be something better that I can do for them. And I was given that I was already interested in research. So I thought that even if I do a master's or if I do a PhD, that would make me more independent and I can do better for them. I do have a psychology background. so. In particular, what I was interested in was whether certain psychological characteristics in athletes predicts their physical recovery tendencies when they encounter stress or failure or setbacks. Pretty much what I'm looking at is to see if how athletes treat themselves when they fail impacts not only the way that they feel um, sort of subjectively, um, but also what actually happens in their body. I wouldn't say that graduate studies were always on my radar. Um, I think as I got further into my program and started doing a little bit of research, I saw that there were things that really interested me and I really enjoyed the process. I think getting some experience in research is really important, um, whether you're just volunteering in a lab um, or starting to work as a research assistant because grad studies is very research heavy. Um, but I think the benefit to that is a lot of times you're going to have the freedom to study something that really matters to you and really interests you. And that can really go a long way, especially in research. Um, so I would say, you know, if you're just sort of starting out, start to pay attention to what sort of things, you know, really interest you, really get you excited about what you're learning. Um, and just sort of keep that in the back of your mind because you never know that may really turn into a great opportunity to continue in graduate studies. Um, and that's one of the things that I love about the program is that I actually get to study and learn about and develop things that I really enjoy and that really matter to me. Um, I think that's a pretty awesome way to, to be able to spend my time.